will hold you to it. This statement contains a burden. The burden is, what is said, is going to have to be carried out. It is going to have to be done. I have tried to do this not all that successfully. If what I say I will do is not done, how can I blame others if they do not trust my word a hundred percent? Now I know that I am not supposed to test God, like the devil test tempting Jesus to jump off the top of the temple, because after all, God said he would give his angels charge to keep you from hurting your foot. I cannot do that. But I can test him in a proper manner. In so doing, I can say to him, I will hold you to it. When I read the Old Testament promises about what God by grace was going to do for me through Jesus, he is saying, here is my word of promise. Here is what I will do. Then reading the New Testament, specifically the Gospels, I see God in Christ did carry out those promises. Since it becomes evident by what Jesus did while on earth, I am given the confidence in those very same promises. For the purpose that when any flood comes along, great or small, I can with every confidence look to my Lord God and say, You said, and I will hold you to it. This is true in my daily life. God said, Call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. He also said, Cast all your care upon me, because I care for you. So whatever problem I have in life, I can, with the humble confidence of faith, come to him and say, You said, and I will hold you to it. He will do it for me. Maybe not as quick as I think he should, or in the way I think he should. Still, he is true to his word and promises. His oath and his covenant give me this confidence, because they are given in Christ, the solid rock.